Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial on uh, Light and Magic site uh, which is located in lightandmagic.multiply.com uh, uh, Today I'm going to talk about how to create an animated banner in which I in this case I use uh, Adobe Photoshop uh, CS3 which is kind of old version Alright so I have this uh, picture uh, from my cousin's uh, university in Bangkok in which I'm, go I'm not going to use the whole picture I'm just going to copy part of it Alright uh, right. Make a new one. Uh, so make a new working pro working area and paste. So this is this is this is my working area. I'm going to delete the original picture here. All right. Um, okay. So this is our working area. So the first thing is I need to open the layers window. If you don't have it in front of you, you just click on window menu and you click on layers. So basically right now I have two layers. One is called background, which is a white background. Uh, actually I don't need this. I just delete the background. Now I only have layer 1 which that carries this picture in which I'm going to duplicate layer 1 just click on layers and duplicate and instead of layer 1 copy I'm just rename it as layer 2 and click OK right now I'm going to uh, do a sim similar step uh, which I'm going to create another layer which is I'm going to call it layer 3 right? so I have 3 layers layer 1, 2 and 3 which basically carries the same, uh, same, pic uh, same picture Right. Now I'm going to create another layer which I'm going to call it face and uh, F A C E. Right. Now give me a second and uh, which I'm going to fast forward uh, this part. Okay. Just create a, a simple drawing here of a face and uh, with uh, two eyes and a big smile like that. Okay. Now after everything's done, I'm going to create another layer which is uh, I'm going to call it hands. H A. H A N D S. Okay. All right. Uh, so, uh, so simple drawings like that. Now I'm going to click right button on the layer itself. I'm going to choose blending effect. I'm go uh, going to put bow oval and uh, drop shadow, stroke. You know, this is all this effect just to create this illusion of a 3D object. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right click on the face and uh, click on my blending option. I'm going to do a uh, with similar step, uh, stroke, proposal, and also shadow, and um, click OK. So right now I have two 3D objects in front of me, the face and the hand. I'm going to create another one with uh, similar steps, the word Bangkok on top right, uh, top left uh, corner. Alright, so basically I'm just going to adjust uh, all this. Um, Alright, now the next step is I need to open the animation window. The animation window is if you, if it is not in front of you, you need to go to the to the uh, to the menu, the to the Photoshop menu. Click on uh, the window menu and click animation. Right. So I just okay. So uh, this actually this this setting is I'm not really familiar with. Uh, I don't know how to use this frame, uh, this this uh, window. If I click on the, r on the right lower corner, uh, you, it will transform to another to another window, which is the animation uh, the frame animation. In which uh, I only have one frame, but if I click uh, twice, so basically it, it duplicates the f the first frame, and I ha right now I have three frames, which each uh, lasts uh, ten seconds. And uh, okay, uh, instead of putting once, I'll change it to forever, and uh, I'm going to change the speed of each frame to only half a second. So right now I have an uh, animation of three frames, Let each lasts half a second that uh, re repeated forever. Right. Alright, so the next step is I'm going to activate frame 1 in which um, I'm going to off all the layers. In frame 1, I'm going to on, on activate layer 1, okay, in which I'm uh, using the smudge, uh, the smudge uh, tool, okay. I'm going to create this uh, distortion on the water surface here, right? Just nothing fancy, just simple touches here, alright? So this is, this, is, uh, this is from frame 1. This uh, this uh, this picture will be for frame one. For frame two, however, I'm going to off the layer one, make it invisible, and reactivate layer two, make it visible, and I'm going to work on layer two, in which uh, again I'm going to create distortion on the water, but it is totally different from layer one. Uh, it just uh, and also the face. I'm going I'm going to change uh, the location of the face uh, slightly up here, the hand slightly down. And also, we call this uh, Bangkok. I just put it slightly down like this, right? Okay. For frame three, um, activate layer three. Okay. Now change the position of uh, certain objects here, there, and there. 
and so on. Okay, and uh, oh, I forgot one more thing. Uh, to create distortion on layer three. Um, give me a second. Here. Okay, distortion of layer three. Everything's done. Now click play. Once you click play button, you will see the animation. Uh, the f uh, the uh, the frame. Uh, the, the Photoshop goes to walk frame by frame and you can see all the animation here, the water distortion and the face dancing and also the word Bangkok here uh, jumping, you know, uh, right, left, so on. Alright, so this is a simple idea of animation, okay? Uh, now the, the only thing left is to save the project. Uh, oh, but before that, uh, this picture is still big for me, so I just click on image and image size and make it slightly smaller. You see, uh, most of my themes uh, I use uh, the width of 780, uh, so, uh, so just now it was 900, so I make it smaller to 780 width. The height I don't, uh, I can easily adjust it through the CSS. The next thing is I don't want those sharp edges. I want to get rid of the sharp edges of the of the picture. So what I do, I'm going to use a color that is totally not used in the picture. So far in the picture, I have uh, I have blue, green, yellow, and orange. So the only shocking color is left is purple. Purple is the only color I haven't used. So I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to create another layer, the the uppermost layer, which is oh, okay. Just call it layer four. Now I'm going to use the pe the pencil tool. Okay, make sure it is a pencil. Do not use a brush tool. Okay, because it it makes a lot of difference. Okay. By using the pencil, it creates this sharp, uh, sharp edge, uh, pup, uh, purple, uh, purple area. But if you use the brush, it's actually uh, the brush actually creates a gradient between uh, between the picture uh, and uh, the purple. So you actually you don't you end you end up with uh, different ranges of uh, the purple color. Uh, you know, slightly bright, slightly darker. But if you use pencil, the pencil to only draw. The pur uh, only one range of uh, purple, not 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 bright, not dark, only that certain uh, uh, grade of purple. All right, so the end result is I have uh, the four corners is uh, in color purple. Now, finally left is save it, but you cannot save simply save as any document. You need to save it for web uh, website and uh, devices. Okay, another window will appear in front of you. Okay. Make sure the settings. Uh, um, okay. Uh, make sure the setting is in GIF, and the other uh, the other point, uh, option is uh, colors. Okay. So far, uh, now it's put on one to eight. You know, the less the uh, the more color you use, the more color you use, the more the bigger the file you end up with. So I think one to eight will be enough for me. Okay. Remember the the purple edges. Okay. So you can see among all the colors, only one color that really stood up. Okay. Which is the purple. So what I'm going to do is make sure the transparency uh, option is ticked on and then I just click on it like this and I click a small button here it basically it transforms this color into a transparent color okay so so the purple color become uh, down here and you can see the purple totally disappear okay and it actually became transparent so everything everything done just save the, the damn thing okay just save it all right uh, okay, this is more familiar. I uh, just put it in desktop and uh, let me uh, let me save it under Bangkok Rocks. Okay, and save it. Now I'm going to open a PowerPoint. And I'm going to open PowerPoint, which is uh, just uh, to dem demonstrate those smooth edges that I was talking about. Okay, I'm just going to drag the picture and throw it inside the PowerPoint. Okay, so and uh, open the slideshow, and there it is. So you can see. Uh, the, the edges of the picture has moved, has been smoothed out and became more, you know round and of course the animation itself the, then finally the final step is you post it you post the picture uh, inside your multiply account um, in a process that is already discussed in another tutorial uh, in uh, in light and magic site uh, it is how how to how to publish your graphics on the internet and use them so if you follow the steps, you go to the, eventually you go to the custom CSS, you put the URL address and so on, and you just click save and uh, wait for it, wait for it, and voila! So there it is, a new banner for my site. All right? So I hope you learned something. I hope actually I hope that you enjoyed uh, watching my tutorials. So until until the next tutorial, thank you for listening and take care. Okay, peace.